Welcome scientists. Today we are paleontologists. <laughs> Today we're going to make fossils and we're actually going to make the mud that the fossil gets imprinted into. So we're going to make some coffee grind fossils. So we're going to get started. You're going to need some flour, just some baking flour. You're also going to need some cold coffee, which means it's not hot out of the coffee pot. You can just leave it sit overnight. You need a little liquid inside of this. It smells really good. Take a sniff. You want to take a drink? <laughs> yeah, your mom wouldn't like that too much. You're also going to need some coffee grinds. Now, you can't just use coffee grinds straight out of the pot. You have to use used coffee grinds. So you have to make the coffee and then get the wet grinds that came out of the coffee pot. So I have a whole container of wet coffee grinds. You're going to need some salt. I don't know why you need salt, but the recipe calls for it, so we're using it. You ready? Yes. All right, here's what we're going to do. The first thing we need is two cups of coffee grinds. I want you to fill me up two cups. This is a cup. All right, two. Now we need a cup of the cold coffee. I'll pour, you hold. I've done this already twice, and it is very messy there's coffee everywhere there's flour everywhere there's coffee grinds everywhere but my entire classroom smells like Starbucks well, can like, I do this <laughs> get your parents permission why because this is really messy and it can ruin some of your stuff oh okay yeah. it is. all right the next thing we need is two cups of flour so you want to you can do the first one there's already a cup in there you just kind of dig in and kind of scoop out that cup in there Oh my goodness, we have a leak in the pot. Oh no. Oh no. no problem, we have another pot. Oh. We're supposed to have um, a cup of salt. Now what I've learned is that once you start stirring it, you may realize that if you were not exact on the measurement, then you might have to add a little more flour or salt or anything else to make it the right consistency. If it's too sticky, we're going to dip our hands in the flour. That way we have something for it to stick to. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna stir it up, okay, go ahead. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit first and see what we're missing. So it's still a little wet, but look at it. I'm gonna call you name if you're sitting right. I'm gonna give you a ball. Pay attention to this stuff so you know what to do. Not the uh, fossil, dip your hands. Like this, put your hand like that. This, all, I called y'all first and I thought y'all were paying attention. See, this well, is Abigail, what happens. There's tons of them, take one. Everyone's doing the one thing. Also to do this, experiment, you gotta have like toy dinosaurs to do it. Make it look like a real fossil or dinosaur or any kind yeah. of toy you want. Or you can use foot Isaac. Like dinosaur foot points is like a dinosaur or anything else. It's a complete mess over here. I mean, we have destroyed the table. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and make our ball. So take your ball. It's just like a big tomato dish. You can dip it in hand in flour if you need to. Just roll it. Oh, we gotta put it on paper, wax paper too. All right, so there is our little fossil. I'm gonna put a tree. I'm gonna do a pterodactyl. I'm gonna put a tree in something else. And then when you lift it up, you can see the imprint of the tree. Look, I'm pressing in a, a T-Rex. <gasps> I did it. I got a T-Rex and a leaf. There's your impression. It's gonna take about three weeks to dry completely, and then we can touch them again. And of all the fossils that we did today, whoa, that's a good one. Yeah, that's hot. These are good. They look better when they dry. Good job, everybody.